Hi, I'm Dobby for Ian Comedy Dobbs. So today I'm going to be doing a like books that I recommend for Halloween or like for October. So I have a bunch of books here. Um, all of these books are books that I enjoyed and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about them and like why I think they would be good for Halloween or like October. Bonk. So the first book is A Tale Dark and Grim, which I don't have here because I believe I got it at my school library, I think, and I read it like a while back, a couple, like a year or two back. But basically A Tale Dark and Grim is about like what really happened in these like fairy tales. So there's like Hansel and Gretel, there's like pretty sure Little Red Riding Hood. Um, and basically there are a bunch of these like fairy tales that you probably heard of as a kid. And it's about like how, what really happened in those fairy tales. And it's a bit more like, like gruesome and like bloody and, and it's very, it's like violent, but it's like violent in a way that like kids can still read it. It wouldn't be like terrible for like kids to read it. I think it's middle grade. So yeah, and I really enjoyed the book. I actually, now that I'm talking about it, I want to read it again. Um, and I, I really enjoyed it. And I chose this book because it just gives me Halloween vibes. Like I feel like fairy tales in general, like fairy tales and like magic gives me Halloween vibes. So yeah. Okay, so the next book we have is The Girl Who Drank the Moon. And this book is about this witch and she like takes children from this like town or whatever. And she feeds them stardust or like star, pretty sure it's stardust which like kind of gives them power but then there was this one girl that this witch takes and she feel she accidentally feeds her moon dust or like moonshine or i don't remember what it's called but basically the moon and which is why it's called the girl who drank the moon because she accidentally feeds her like the moon and which gives her like kind of like superpowers not superpowers but like powers and like some like witchy powers or something so she has to kind of like adopt the the girl and teach her about her powers and stuff i chose this book because because of like the witch stuff and like the powers and um yeah that's why i think this book would be good for halloween and i really recommend this book i really like this book yeah so the next book isn't actually a book it's like a it's like a author but I only have this one book at the moment. It's Mary Downing Han, and this book is Wait Till Helen Comes. Um, but she has like a ton of other books. She has like Deep and Dark and Dangerous. She has like The Old Willis Place. She has a bunch of different scary books, scary stories. And I read a lot of them in 2018, and I read a couple in 2019 too, but I haven't been reading much recently. Like I, did, I haven't read like, yeah, I, I haven't read any in this year. But she used to be my favorite scary story author because I feel like it's just because her stories, like, sometimes there's this, like, line where it's, like, like super young adult or adult scary stories or, like, just super, like, childish scary stories. And I feel like this author does a really good job of, like, finding a place in the middle for, like, middle grade. And... I really like her stories because it's not like super, oh my god, this is so scary, I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep, but it's like a good like chill, you know? And I, most of the characters are like 11 to 14 around my age and like middle, middle school age. So I feel like it would be even more kind of creepier because it's their year age, so you can kind of like see yourself in their shoes, so yeah. Bonk. So the next book is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And this book is a, it's a series. This is the first book and I've only read this book even though I've said multiple times that I want to read the series. I never get to doing it, but it's okay. It's about this guy, I think his name's Jason. Oh, it's Jacob. <laughs> um, it's about Jacob and he, something like happens. He has, there's like a tragedy in his family that happens. And he kind of goes searching for for like answers or something um and the most important part that i remember is there's this like place and it's it's abandoned it's it's almost in ruins called like miss peregrine's home for peculiar children or whatever 
but when he goes there, something weird happens, and it's almost like the children never died. Dun dun dun. Basically, the reason that I chose this book is, it's like, it's I wouldn't call it like a scary story, but it doesn't really fit into any other like. It's not really adventure. It's not really thriller. It's just kind of creepy, but it's like the best way I can describe it is just like fiction, I guess. Oops, unless it's not fiction. Yeah, I really enjoyed this book, and I'm need to read the other books in the series. So the next book is The Collector by K.R. Alexander and this book is about This book is about Josie and she has to move to her grandmother's house. She doesn't want to, like she's kind of forced to move to her grandmother's house. And her grandmother has three rules which I forget so I'm going to read them off the back. Never leave your windows open after dark. No dolls in the house and never ever go by the house in the woods. And Josie is kind of like scared after those like rules. She's like, what the heck? Why, why are those like, why do we need those? Um, but she kind of deals with it until she meets this kind of popular girl at her school. Her name's like Vanessa. Yeah, that's what I thought. Her name is Vanessa. And Vanessa invites Josie over to her house, but Instead, she kind of she takes her to the house in the woods that her grandmother told her not to go to. And from there, things kind of escalate and weird things start happening. And yeah. So this book is a scary story, obviously. And I think this book is more of like a middle grade scary story. And it's very similar to, I think, Mary Downing Hand's style of scary story writing. It's just similar in general. Which is why I think I enjoyed it, because it's similar. I would recommend this for Halloween just because it's a scary story. Yeah. So the next book is Serafina in the Black Cloak. And this book is about Serafina, and she lives in Biltmore Estate. And none of the really rich people that live in Biltmore Estate like know she exists, because she's kind of not allowed to live there, because it's a very like rich area and she's not that rich and basically she has never really had a reason to disobey what her dad says and kind of like venture off beyond the area of like Biltmore Estate. However, their kids in Biltmore Estate start disappearing randomly one by one and only Serafina knows who's doing it. It's this man in this black cloak, which in the black cloak and so Serafina has to go out of her way to kind of figure out who this man is and why he's taking this these children and things like that before all the children are just gone and the reason that I chose this book for Halloween is because it's a little bit of like creepy and it's a little bit of a, like a mystery oh mystery yeah I forgot about that part and it's a like it's kind of creepy and you want to know what's going to happen next and it has, it gives me the same vibes that Halloween does or like just fall in general. I feel like this book will be good for. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's why I chose this book for Halloween. Yeah. So the next book is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, Three Books to Chill Your Bones. Um, and this book is actually a collection of three different books. So it's like three books put into one and i remember reading these books in like fourth and fifth grade all the time i would get them from like my school library and i would bring them to like sleepovers with my friends and i would read them i just read them all the time and i like really loved them and now looking back on it like i kind of understand why i read them so much they're they're so entertaining but also the fact that it's not one continuous scary story it's like multiple short ones and there's some that are just like funny and there's some that are actually kind of creepy and stuff like that um i think there's an entire section of like just funny scary stories and i think that this book is really good for if you don't like to read as much or you can't really focus on one like long story this book is good because you can kind of just when you're bored read one of the stories like flip to a random story and start reading it and stuff 
but also it has like this table of contents and it I think sorts hold on, hold on. It sorts all of the stories. So like the first chapter is ah and and it's um, stories that will like make you yell or like if you're telling it at a campfire and then you're like and then someone like comes up behind you and like jump scares you. It's kind of those type of stories. And then there's another section for like just funny stories and there's another section for like ghost stories and stuff like that. So you can also um, find one that you like in a, like a topic or style that you like and just read that. So yeah, that's interesting about this book. And obviously I chose it for Halloween because it's a scary storybook. Um, so yeah, I would I really recommend this. And I think it would be good for all ages too. It might not be as scary to some ages, but it would be good for all ages, I'm pretty sure. So the next book is Sheets, and this book is a graphic novel. Oh, oh. This book is about Marjorie and Wendell, and Marjorie is, um, she runs her family's laundromat, her family's like laundry place, and she has to deal with like annoying customers and running the shop, the clothes, the money, all that stuff. And Wendell is kind of different. Wendell is a ghost, and Wendell, um, he died very young, I think, and so now Wendell's kind of roaming around in the human world. And when Wendell s somehow stumbles into Marjorie's laundry sh laundromat, um, he wants to kind of become friends with Marjorie. So he tries to become friends, but all of his attempts at becoming friends with Marjorie kind of end up ruining or like damaging Marjorie's laundromat but somehow they do become friends slowly over time and it's about their relationship and their friendship and how they help each other in a way and i found this book so cute and like very heartwarming and i think that this is less of a scary book this is not less of this is not a scary book and it sees ghosts in not like a oh i'm gonna haunt you type of way but more in a like I'm gonna be your friend type of way and I think that this book is good for all ages as well. So the reason that obviously I chose this book for Halloween was because it's about ghosts but also as like a choice if you are not a scary story fan or like you don't like scary stories as much this is still a good book for Halloween. So yeah. Um, also something related to this book is Sheets, the ghost in Sheets, is one of the characters that I will be dressing up as for a video that's coming soon. Um, I'm working on a video, me and my mom, or my family in general, is working on a video where I dress up as like book characters and it's kind of like Halloween costume ideas and like inspo, but also just for fun. Um, and I'm dressing up as different book characters I'm not going to say any of them because you'll have to find out except one of them is sheets which is why I'm actually using like this for the sheets thing and all of them are going to be pretty like easy pretty easy things that you guys can do and mostly they're made up of things that I found like clothes that I found at home or things that I can find like fabric at like a local craft store it's not like super crazy costume ideas because this year um I'm probably not going trick-or-treating because of this whole like coronavirus thing but I still think that it would be fun to kind of still dress up and show you guys some ideas so yeah Bonk. so stay tuned for that video that would be the end of my Halloween recommendations uh, video thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed if you like this video then like this video and subscribe for more content like this happy reading Happy reading!